This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check the links in the description. Cake dummies. In this video, we're talking about using dummy tiers of cakes to make a fake cake using royal icing, right? So we just have a stiff white royal icing that we're going to use as an approximation of buttercream on our fake cakes. And to help get this started and do this video quickly, I've actually gone ahead and secured the six inch dummy to a presentation board or cake board or whatever surface it's going to sit on in its final state. And I've gone ahead and I've iced the top and let it sit for at least a day. That way it's nice and hard. And I've done the same over here. So you want to go ahead and do that. And then the next day you can work on the sides and assembling. And just to quickly show you how that works, you just want to take a nice dollop of that royal icing, spread it smoothly across the top, and just make sure you get that as flat as you want it to be. You can always go back later and apply a texture to it if you want. And a quick note is we're using white because I like that for a lot of my dummies because then I can use uh, fake or fresh flowers to add those during bridal shows or in my displays, or even use these to show off my sugar flower work by attaching those, which means I can change them up and create a lot of varied looks if the background is kind of neutral with just the white frosting. So I just went ahead and cleared any excess off the sides with my spatula and smoothed it back across the top. I would then let this sit for at least 24 hours to make sure that frosting is really firm and dry, making the whole thing easier to handle. To start with, I'm going to just go ahead and apply some texture and I'm just gonna go for kind of a rough, like spackle-like texture on this. So you don't really need to ice the whole sides first. You just need to take your spatula and just gently start smoothing that frosting on and making sure that you're covering the whole surface and you're not leaving any exposed styrofoam. And this will give you a nice approximation of buttercream on the outside of a cake. And so you can use this to mimic a variety of different buttercream texture techniques or to even do smooth cakes. Now, if you're looking for a perfectly smooth cake, it's gonna be kind of hard to achieve with royal icing. You'll see like here on the top, it's always gonna kind of have a little bit of texture to it. You can actually use a really fine grade sandpaper to sand it down if you're looking for that super smooth effect on your buttercream. And once I get the texture applied all the way around the sides, then I'll go ahead and put my second tier on and do that as well. And it shouldn't take long for you to work your way all the way around the sides. So having that firm top and it being firmly attached to a base means I have a, the ability to grab onto the top to help me rotate and handle it and also the ability to touch the board to help with handling as well. And that'll make your job a lot easier. Right, so I have my little top piece and I'm dry on one side and wet on the other. And that's just gonna help me attach this right here to the top. I want to make sure I get it centered and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the same texture to the top of this one. You can always mix up your textures, do one textured and one smooth. That's really up to you, but it's really easy to create a nice varied look on these cakes by just mixing up the textures. You can add in some color, decorate them with a bunch of different flowers, and you have a cheap easy and quick way to make a beautiful display. Since these are made of royal icing, they're not going to spoil, nothing will get stinky. Some people sometimes ice these in fake buttercream, but that sometimes, it doesn't always age well. It can peel off in the heat, right? Literally, because these are gonna get nice and hard, you can actually dust them when they're done, right? So you can keep them for a long time, you can really get a lot of use out of them. So they're a great way to invest in some nice displays 
to help give your customers an idea of the different styles that you can achieve, the different looks, and also the different size options. Because you can tell people the sizes of a cake uh, when you're talking about an order, but a lot of people will have trouble visualizing just how big it is. So having these basically kind of like cake Legos that you can show them what size they're getting, what it's going to look like, will really help them better to imagine what they're getting for their orders, can really help to increase and boost sales and increase customer satisfaction, right? So this is just a quick, easy way to make a beautiful fake display cake, right? And I am almost done with this. And you see, it just took a couple of minutes, right? We spent maybe five to 10 minutes total prepping by making our frosting and getting those little tops frost before we did this video, but not much in the way of investment time-wise. And you have a really beautiful looking sample that's ready to display. If we let this dry for a good 12 to 24 hours, we can then apply some decorations, whether they be gum paste flowers, uh, silk flowers, or even sometimes I've used fresh flowers. You can just gently poke holes so you have places to apply those, and then you can always change things out seasonally and apply different decorations to them over and over again. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.